Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and this is Satisfactory Launch Day. Ha <laughs> ha Hope everyone's ready. One point oh is out now. Batteries, cable, and console controllers. Interesting. <laughs> Soon, TM. <laughs> That's great. That's really cool. So this is the dev stream. Uh, it may be over now. I uh, oh no, there's not. Let's go, everyone! Holy shit! I can't believe it. When I remove it. Language warning, by the way. <laughs> it is out. It is available. Well, it's downloading. Hopefully, for some people, but it is now. It is downloading for me. Uh, satisfactory 1.0. It's, uh, wow. And actually, I, now I feel it. I've, I've felt nothing up until this point. I've just been dead inside, but holy shit. I can't believe it. One point I was at. So real quick, if you don't see anything happening in Steam on Epic, don't worry. Uh, on Epic, you might need to refresh the browser or like the, the, the client or whatever, and it should update. And on Steam, it's the same thing. Like you might need to refresh Steam or restart it, and then it'll kick off. Um, so I have but, my update uh, is yeah, initializing uh, in the background. There was a little um, extra thing at the end there. Uh, a little um, refresh yeah, so icon I had to click, but it's already at five percent. So we should be up and running right no time. We've, uh, uh, we've we've dreaded this. I was saying, <laughs> like it's 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 a huge undertaking to be able to bring this. Hope game the audio volume the between market. myself and stream is good. Fish labs. I don't uh, want to uh, working on porting this be shouting over Snit. Uh, we don't have a release date or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, the language warning. I always forget about that. When, if, like, if th it can be either this year or next year. It's or fine. Like we We're all adults. And, uh, we are it's just because I do so much Minecraft I'm so excited for this. content. Uh, we Snit are is still a little low. So strange. I can't seem to boost that. PlayStation 5 and Xbox. Uh, uh, the Xboxes. I don't know. Uh, anyways. So super exciting. One thing I also want to mention in regards to this is that we are also looking into getting proper uh, controller support. Uh, if you've been with us on the uh, dev streams, you know that this has been a topic that we talked about. Is that better? And it, it is a huge undertaking being able to, to um, bring controller support to Satisfactory. Um, and we are going to bring controller support for PC as well. So it's not just for console. We haven't fully finished that yet. Um, and so that will be sort of an update in the future. Um, so it's coming, but with con control support comes a ton of <laughs> cosmic dancer like, who's been spreading the vicious rumor that I'm an adult. <laughs> menus, Same. Like all, all Same. widgets and like all the UI elements in the game have to be, um, a custom with control support in mind. I'm drinking out of my um, fix it coffee mug cosmic. Oh, did I do that? No, nope, I didn't do that. Um, what happened? There we go. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna hang out for a little bit longer actually because uh, we're not gonna end the stream just yet. Because uh, Sweet Sandy, she, uh, they got stuck at the now. same height that they were at 17, uh, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna hang out a little bit more. Uh, Mark is gonna join us, our game director. But uh, well, I'm gonna switch over to the game once it's <laughs> downloaded. We are at 36 percent. Probably on me not to tell him that he needs to show up. I'm curious whether there is a new update um, on the page. So yeah, how are we all feeling, chat? Are we excited? Are we happy? Can't can't believe that oh, we're finally here. I think uh, that's the new how big background. Is the download for you all, because it will vary a little bit. I think uh, we have reduced the general like size of the uh, of the game in total. Um, Nothing yet so on sure. the Limited actual Steam for some people. Thirteen site. 10. I was looking for some patch notes. I think and we know most of what's coming. Like thirteen gigs <clears> now. Uh, I don't know. Linus is just shrugging his head. I don't know. Uh, a lot of people said 11 gigs. So and and the and the team is celebrating. And we we've, we've tried to like soundproof this room as much as we possibly can. But now and we haven't heard like almost <laughs> anything from the bottom floor. But now we can actually hear them, which is pretty exciting. So so good job, everyone. We'll do, Sandy. I can't believe we're here. We'll do. Super excited. Time to party. It's time to get 
foot. No, time to get wasted. <laughs> um, so yeah, as I mentioned before, we are coming to console. Uh, if you didn't hear the news or didn't see it. Um, that was a fun way to reveal that too. I like the, the, the uh, controllers on the conveyor belt. With Fish Labs uh, was doing the porting. And um, control support is also coming. If you didn't hear that, which was a little exciting. Obviously. Uh, patch notes are out? Console with, I don't know. You, you'd find a way. Um, anyways, I got flying here. This is really annoying. Um, what, else is, what else is there to say? I don't know. It's just, what was that? Are they in the Discord? Oh, what else is there to say? Let me check it out. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, yeah, chat, I see you. Like, where's 1.1? 1 .1? What is this? What is this shit? I can't believe this. We haven't even, it's not been out for like 10 minutes, and we're already complaining about it. where's 1.1. 1 .1. Oh boy. I don't see is, oh, the patch notes. There. Getting there. Uh, Crossplay for console, we don't know yet exactly. We haven't decided, I think. Oh, I see um, Cosmic. There's a lot of work. Those, those, those were your patch so notes. We're not sure Got if it. we can support crossplay for console. Um, uh, so to be, to be announced. There's a lot of stuff with consoles that we can't talk about right now, mostly because I, well, the, the biggest reason is because I haven't prepared for it, okay? Like, I just prepared for this stream mostly, so I don't want to give, give away any. We are at 56%. Like we will follow up with more information. It's slowed down. Consoles. Um, they're, we don't have a release date. I see, Cosmic. Yeah, you were saying that's what their patch notes um, were going to be. I, and, I hear you. Uh, hope, I mean, it might be this year, but I don't <clears> think <throat> it will, but maybe. Who no knows? worries. All good. Uh, I caught on eventually. Oh, God. We're back. Who knows? We're back. We're doing it again. Um, so, yeah. Error occurred. Oh, no. It's missing executable. Wait a second. <laughs> Um, just, okay, if you're running into issues when you're downloading... Uh, hey, so, there's um, the patch notes. Uh, resolve files uh, on Steam and Epic. So on Steam, you go to properties, and there's like a setting under properties. Very so cool. Like, Tier uh, 9. Awesome. I'm going to copy that link. We're going to put that in a command for chat. Like so for people that need to go uh, check that out, I will update like that for myself and the moderators. Uh, update. Uh, so now the link, there. if you do, uh, bang update yeah, in chat. We have a different type of ver verification in the game. Uh, that's the link to the Mark. patch notes. Mark, you're supposed to be here. Uh, I think I can probably reduce um, this for now. Just mute, bring that quite low. Uh, let's see where I am with my download. I sixty four percent. Let's just mute stream for now. The final phase project assembly phase five is now available, meaning players can finally complete project assembly and save the day and finish the game. Phase five grants access to tier nine, featuring five new end game milestones with new buildings, resources, production lines, and crazy sci-fi features that push fix-it technology to the limit. If you'd like to see new additions in motion, please check out our teaser video. Uh, have I seen the teaser video before? I think we have. Yes, we have. We have seen that before. Converter, quantum encoder, conveyor belts, lifts at Mark 6, portals. That's new. That was not. Portals can be used by pioneers to allow near instant travel between factories, but space time travel does not come without a cost, namely the form of singularity cells and a massive amounts of power. Portals. Portals are things. I thought we had had pocket dimension stuff, but now we actually have portals. This is awesome. Blueprint designer Mark II and Mark III. They are releasing a, a Mark III. You wanted bigger, better blueprint designers, so here they are. Since update seven, the blueprint designer has been available at tier four with a size of four by four foundations. With Satisfactory 1.0, you will be able to unlock the Blueprint Designer Mark II 5x5 on Tier 6 and the Blueprint Designer Mark III 6x6 in Tier 9. They were lying to us and said there was only going to be the one Blueprint Designer. The size increase greatly expands the use cases 
and options available with blueprints. Sandy, thank you for being awesome. I really appreciate it. I didn't catch what was said. Large blueprint designer, Fixonium. New material converter, a building that changes one material into another. That's this cool black one right there in the middle. That's really fun. Can you see my cursor? No, you can't. Oh, you can't see my cursor. That's weird. You should be able to see my cursor. I don't know why you can't. Um, anyway, it's right there in the middle. Uh, is that a Chrome option thing? It says capture cursor. Weird. I'm not sure why you can't. Um, quantum encoder, that's not in this picture. That's the particle accelerator. This though, uh, ma'am, this is this time bringing a long awaited use to the Mercer spheres, summer sloops and Sam with the new alien technology research in the ma'am. You can now unlock new goodies such as dimensional depot alien power augmenter and alien production amplifier uh, so this will allow you to have storage kind of like in the cloud on the internet uh, this is summer sloop and will increase the power by 10 percent on your power grid uh, and alien power augmenter uh, using summer sloops to amplify the power produced on a power grid nope that's one thing uh, amplifier as an alternative to the power augmenter, summer sloops can also be used to boost production by inserting them into a production building. This greatly boosts the resource output that the building without that building without required any additional resources supply, but instead significantly increasing the power consumption. So you consume more power, but you produce more stuff. There is the hub. Finalized version. Here we'll be able to find a much cozier place to relax after some factory building. Also contains a brand new locker. You can interact with finally uh, to finally access some highly requested features. Looks like customizable colors. Uh, that looks like a Mario skin. <laughs> Please don't sue. <laughs> very, very cool. Uh, let me see where are we at with the download. We are done. I will launch this in the background. Just make sure that I can, yep, yeah, okay. Now, hopefully, I don't have to do anything different other than the executable. Just waiting for this to catch up. There we go. Brand new start screen. Very, very cool. So for folks that have not been up to speed, uh, I also need to, I think, change my audio capture. You guys can't hear the game sounds, can you? Hmm. Why do I have two microphones visible? That's not good. Strange. I'm not sure why my microphone is here twice. Must be a visual glitch in OBS. Everybody can hear me okay? I still sound normal as per my other streams. Uh, what am I looking for? I am looking for the audio for satisfactory. There we go. Now you should be able to hear conveyor belts and uh, this piston thing going up here in the top right hand corner. Everybody can hear the game. 
Game sounds are now hearable. Thank you, Sweet Sandy. Always takes a little bit for OBS to uh, get caught up on uh, updating a game. There usually is like a new instance in the background on Windows. Uh, Freckled Nan, thanks for the follow. Smurf588, hello. Resubscribed at Tier 1 for 35 months. That's almost three years, Smurf. That's wild. Thank you so, so much. For folks wondering, Tier 1 and uh, Tier... I think just Tier 1. Tier 1 subs at one month and at three months are on sale for 25% off uh, over the course of uh, September. And my coffee is very low and very broken. Give me, give me one second, folks. Okay, I'm back. Uh, drinking out of my Fix-It mug. Thank you, Cosmic Dancer, for the lovely gift. Mobile watching is unbearable. Oh no, Cosmic. That's no good. I was on the Twitch mobile app earlier, and it is hot garbage. I agree. Uh, I guess the first thing I need to let everybody know is that we are not starting a new save, at least not right away. Uh, we are going to uh, update Devastator, which is 1100 hours. And uh, there are some big changes to Devastator. Uh, if you take a look at this image, these are the new nodes that have been added. These are the nodes that have been removed. You'll notice that several of my nodes on the western slope just no longer exist. These are the decreased impurity nodes. I don't think we have to worry about too much. Maybe just one on the cliff there in the north. And then these are the increased nodes. And we don't have to worry about these at all. We're not using these at all. So really, it's the added nodes and the uh, non-existing nodes now we have to worry about. So that's the stuff that's going to change immediately. Uh, thank you to Smurf588, five gifted subs, holy smoke. Who got those? We've got uh, Normac Laro, Mad Paradigm, T1TTY Leads, Brune 5 and Swagnilla Ice 85 all got gifted subs from Smurf 588. Thank you ever so much. I really appreciate that. If you've got a gift sub, that means you also have access to the Discord. If you connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts, then you can join me in the Joel Duggan Discord as well as everybody else that hangs out in this community. I think you will very much enjoy it. It's a bunch of like minded, nerdy adults. A lot of fun. Uh, let's get into here so we can stop listening to the, um, the loop on the title screen. So Devastator, as I mentioned, is 1100 hours. We have the Megatron power facility kicking out 60,000 megawatts. And that is why I did not want to restart this save. I'm sure my ratios are gonna be off. I'm sure I'm gonna have to work on my spreadsheet. I'm gonna have to delete nodes. There's all kinds of things that we're going to have to do. I think the very first thing I'm gonna have to do is stop the bone crusher train. I think that is just not going to be bringing in much at all. Uh, I don't know if I can do that remotely. I think I may have to try to catch it. Either way, we'll try to stop it at the Devastator train station and see what we can do. I'm hoping, what I'm really hoping, is that my power is on. Because if my power is not on, it is going to take an eon to get around this save. Because we have hypertubes that require power. We have trains that require power. Oh. That sounded ominous. Everybody says, oh, 
We are up and running. It is actually working. Holy nuggets. I am surprised. Things look interesting. There's the new hub with bunks. Character customization in the locker. Uh, sure. Ooh. I like the welder. <laughs> uh, let's go with that one. That's fun. Can I turn this around? Uh, zoom in, zoom out. Oh, it just turns the character. That's cool. Uh, we can do... What's the difference there? Oh, just different colors. Oh, probably how it looks in your hand. Let's go with the basic one. Uh, trinket. I'm okay with the check mark. Primary color, secondary color, and overalls. Well, I am kind of a red fan. Do we go for red or do we go for caution yellow? What do we think? Uh, this is the highlights. I feel like that we can maybe just go. Oh, that affects the helmet too. Uh, let's grab this color. Put you there. Do we go black? I kind of like the black. Can we go pink? No. <laughs> Y'all are awesome, but no. No pink. No pink. We could also just go with like a darker version of the red. Or go with like a yellow. Looks very caution tape. I'm sure we can probably change this whenever we want. Uh, and I guess the shirt just stays gray. Uh, I don't know why I have a blueprint up. Let's edit my to-do list. Character customization, nothing else in there. I feel like I'm moving around differently. Maybe I have to change my mouse sensitivity. Oh, I do know that we can actually flush the toilet. <laughs> you can flush stuff down the toilet. Well, that's fun. Or not. Maybe it doesn't actually work. Sorry, Satisfactory. I really wanted that to actually make a flush noise. Oh, interact with toilet. Press E to flush. <laughs> that is a uh, active, active flush. Productive Packer Deluxe. We don't want to do that right now. This looks really colorful and cool. I'm glad they've made these changes. The ma'am is looking pretty sharp. That is very futuristic looking. I like that a lot better than what we had before. And we also have new parts. All right, chat. What do we want to look at first? Ma'am for progress or new parts for building? Chime in. CJ, if my toilet splashed like that, I would be worried too. I agree. Ma'am says Sandy. One vote, ma'am. Anybody else? CJ, subscribing with Prime, 34 months. Thanks ever so much. And sweet Sandy jumping in with 500 bits. That means a hype train is close. 100 bits or another Prime or Tier 1 sub in the next minute will launch a hype train. Uh, CJ, I love the Minecraft build that you shared today in Discord. That is so cool. Um, 
Are you still a member of the Spawn Chunks Discord? And if not, can I share those images in the Spawn Chunks later today? Cosmic wants to look at things that are pink, but you do you. Do I have a pink? Matte, default, and shiny. Hello. There you go, Cosmic. That's a new sound effect, too. Beep. Cosmic, you can have that for pink. For now. Scotsman UK with 104 bits. Let there be train. The hype train is launched. Level one is now 55% complete with four minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Thanks ever so much, Scotsman. Really appreciate it. Uh, no one else has chimed in, so Sandy and I are going to look at the ma'am. Uh, alien megafauna. This has been completed. Uh, we have already done that. Alien technology. Hello. Sam analysis. Scannable Sam resource. I need 10 Sam, so I need to find 10 Sam first. I might have some in my chests. Uh, Mercer sphere. I do have a Mercer sphere. And summer sloop. I also have a summer sloop. So we can go and start that immediately. Caterium is completed. Good. Don't have to do that again. Mycelia. This requires... What is that? Compacted coal. Coal, fabric, and steel pipes. Okay. I thought I already had a gas mask, but I guess we have to do that again. Nutrients is completed. Power slugs. We need to do... Ooh, synthetic power shards. That is going to be a while before we can get that. What is this? This is the time crystal. What the heck is a time crystal? Time crystals are diamonds that have been reconfigured into a subatomic level in the converter to remain a time periodic self-organizing structure. This allows them to be used in the development of quantum processing and storage technologies. Oh, so I need those before I can access the storage quantum storage okay fair that's gated at the end of the game i appreciate that uh quartz is completed and sulfur is not completed um we actually are probably pretty close to that all right well let's look at the alien technology i feel like i have a couple of those things Everything seems to be working. Uh, where did I put that stuff? Oh, are these? Oh, they're color coded in the inventory now. That's cool because it's a red chest, orange chest. Ooh, I like that. That's a nice touch. It's a little out of focus. Does, does, that, does that look low res to you? Maybe it's just me. It could also be my graphic settings. Uh, where did I put all the important stuff? Was it over here? Ha! That these are glitch. That's fun. Let's start this off. Alien technology. Let's just go with the one at the top. Start research. Oh, it's only going to be a couple seconds. Perfect. Uh, CJ says, "I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was a fun process to puzzle through, almost entirely in survival. Very cool. Uh, both the Minecraft build I mentioned earlier." Uh, I've never been a member of the Spawn Chunks, but you are more than welcome to share those if you wish. Okay, I will. Thank you very much. Bali684, thanks very much for the Tier 1. That is going to push that hype train a little bit farther. We're at 80% now with a minute and 20 left. And um, Bali, make sure that you connect your Discord and your Twitch. You can join us in the Joel Duggan Discord and check out CJR Williams' fantastic Minecraft build. What would you call it, CJ? Is it like Steampunk? What, what's the... What's the name? Does it have like a place name? Ooh. Strange alien matter analysis completed. Dormant crystalline SAM can now be found with the resource scanner. In its dormant state, it is safe to handle without special equipment and can be stored indefinitely. Research for enabling the reanimation of dormant SAM is now available. Fill the rivers with blood and let the effigies defile our temples. <laughs> The follow. Oh, because that's not creepy at all. Uh, Reanimated Sam. I believe that's made in a constructor. So we will have to attempt that. 
Mercer Sphere. I only need one. Cool, Bali. Thank you again. Analysis of Mercer Sphere complete. Please choose a new node in the tree. Mercer Sphere analysis completed. Established local planetary signature of Massage 2, AB, B, in the local Mercer Sphere signals, allowing them to be tracked by the object scanner. Mercer Spheres can also transmit data between specific. Witness our scripture, witness our windows. Have you come to defile our shrine? Sing us on. Arguing the existence of intelligent Yikes. alien life. <laughs> While Fixit has figured out the method, all of the original data is still untranslatable. So for folks that are wondering what's going on, Ada, the administration digital assistant, uh, has been helping us out since the tutorial. If you play this game right now, uh, which actually you should check to see if it's on sale on Steam, because uh, uh, usually at launch they, they often will put it on sale. Uh, Steam and um, Epic Games, whichever you decide to play it on. I got it on Epic Games because it was on Epic before it was on Steam. Uh, Sweet Sandy says it's 10% off. That's cool. Uh, it's I mean, full price, it's only what, $40 US? I don't know what that is in Canadian. Let me just double check that real fast. Where is my other window? Actually, I should probably be able to just pop it up. Uh, open a new tab. Bring that up. Uh, buy on Steam. What does it say? 10% off, $46 Canadian, normally 52 Canadian. I think that's roughly $40 US. Uh, so $40 US, I would imagine, on the Epic Store as well. Very, very cool. Uh, anyway, Ada will give you um, instructions and tutorials and stuff early on in the game. Ada is very funny. They have re-recorded all of Ada's lines uh, for the 1.0 release. Uh, it's actually a Google voice assistant that they used to record it. It's not a voice actor. It's very, very cool. Thanks once again for that hype train, folks. I really appreciate it. And as per usual, the ongoing and epic support from Mind Trip Media with 100 bits uh, on every stream Mind Trip Media for as long as I can remember. And uh, I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you missed it, Mind Trip, I did an unboxing video earlier this morning of my new Sony ZV-E10, which is the new podcasting video camera I'm going to be using for the Spawn Chunks and the Citadel Cafe. And it is something that I picked up because of the support of not only uh, the Spawn Chunks podcast, but also you folks here on Twitch and on my personal Patreon page. Uh, doing this for a job has allowed me to do a lot and uh, really enjoy my day to day. So I'm investing a little bit into the studio and we are improving things across the board. And I am hoping to add some video to Twitch in the near future. I just have to figure out the logistics of what that looks like. And this is the Dimensional Depot. So this is storage that we can use in the cloud. And this needs Mercer Sphere and what is this? A SAM fluctuator is able to regulate and direct behavior of reanimated SAM through application of electronic charges with varying frequencies. This control facilitates technologies such as matter to energy conversion and sapiotemporal matter manipulation. Man. Some thick jargon. Uh, I think if we put down a constructor, first I'm going to change these back. If we put down a constructor here, I bet we can get some reanimated Sam. Oh, these are all new images, I think, where a lot of them look different. There's a lot of kind of polish that I'm noticing in some of these. Um, production, constructor. Let's just put you sideways. Ooh, different noises too. Different noises too. And my default color is the green one. Uh, what do I need to put in you? I need to put in... Hmm. Do I not have any Sam more? Select a recipe. Production. Oh. 
What was it again? Alien technology. I didn't look it up. I could have sworn I saw this being made in constructors. Hmm. Need to research it. Oh, can I? Maybe I have to do the manual. That's the milestone. Do I have a Samor in here? Hmm. Is it just, does it just require, oh, it just requires this. I'm being silly. I thought I needed one of these in order to get one of the, to get the research. I'm being dumb. It's an exciting day. Sam reanimation recipe unlocked. Sam can now be safely awakened, provided it is contained. Meaning, if not contained in special electromagnetic storage, it tends to start breaking atomic bonds of any matter it has physical contact with, and reconstructing it into easily transportable resources. Scripture and blood compose harmony. Follow our hallowed temple halls and listen to the echoes of your ripples. Our bones are more beautiful than yours. Is that going to happen every time? Uh, I don't think I have any additional Sam ore. I think that was all the Sam ore that I had. So now we should have the recipe. Yeah, there it is there. Uh, four Sam, one... Well, I can make one. Let's say we go for it. Probably need more than one. Yeah, I need 10. Okay. I will leave that here. Needed for man research. Um, so we're at a standstill there. I can do the summer sloop though. Summer sloop analysis completed. Summer sloops are somewhere between battery and conduit, harvesting energy from pockets of space with complete disregard for the rules of the space-time continuum and distributing it into its connected ecosystem. This energy Let the energies harvest until the waves reach our shores. Consume. Similarities to the hypothetical <laughs> force of dark energy to potentially be one and the same. It can now be tracked by the object scanner. Cool. Uh, this is locked until we hit that. Uh, and we need... Alright, so now we're, I think we're kind of at a standstill because I need the SAM fluctuator before I can unlock Dimensional Depot and before I can unlock whatever that happens to be. So we need to make 10 of these, which means I'm going to need more SAM. I think I call it a SAM or fluctuator. It's not. It's just a SAM fluctuator. That's going to be hard to remember. We've been calling it Samor for like five years. Uh, that is the power augmenter and the power production amplifier. Very cool. Um, power slugs. Can't finish that. And hard drive. Do I have... Don't know if I have hard drives. Do, 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 do. Does not look like it. So, in order to continue on the alien technology, we may need more Sam ore. Now, I should. 
be able to. Enemies, hard drive, Mercer Sphere. No, it's L? No, where? Hmm. One of my keys is for scanning. C key? Nope. V key. Haha. -ha. Say more. Show me. That is not nearby. <laughs> Whoa. Thousand meters. Um, map markers, resources, Does it show up here. These are all tinier and more streamlined, it looks like as well. Oh, I like that we show up a lot better too. This looks a lot tighter, higher resolution. I did not see... Let's try that again. Wrong button. It was in this direction somewhere. Probably up. Huh. Well, we do have a pretty decent vantage point. Let's just see if we can see it. Oh, why am I using... Uh, a better fuel. Can I choose the fuel? There we go. Let's go. Ooh, I feel like hypertubes are faster. And I look normal. I look good. I'm red and you can see my jetpack and my hands and boots are not floating off my body. <laughs> I think they fixed a lot of stuff. Uh, Sandy, what was in the OV? Yeah, sorry. That's a much smoother exit. I like that. We can sometimes see this wave actually hit a thing. I imagine it's probably right ahead that way, huh? I thought it was going to show up on the map, but I guess not. I thought that these pinged. Uh, resources. That's why. I don't want to hide that. There we go. That's why. Oh, it's right there. That's not far at all. Wait. It's been a while since I've used the map in this way. Uh, let's go down this way. Too fast! <laughs> I think it was... We'll land up here. I see a slug anyway. I have the creatures set to retaliate. <laughs> Those must be the uh, achievements, I guess? Samor. Sam, not Samor. 200 meters. Is it in the goo? Probably in the... Oh, it's probably in a cave. Would be my guess. 
Yes, it is underground. Lots of new sound effects too. They were talking in the dev stream about the new sounds and I think they did a really good job. I feel like the entrance to the cave is not nearby. It has been a little bit of a detour, yeah. Uh, I'm going to see if there's another Sam or... Uh-oh. We crashed. We went too fast. Send and restart. Uh, I will throw up this in the meantime while I'm waiting for the game to reload. Sorry about that, folks. Nice to have the video in the background, though. This is the website. for the game. I'm just waiting for the game to reload here. Now, the question is, was there an autosave? Uh, there was not. One of the things we should do is maybe streamline the factory before I start gallivanting all over the countryside. So I'll have to do the, um, the Sam Moore stuff again. That's right. We'll start with something different this time. This time we'll look at the awesome shop with the tickets that I have. Because boy, do I have a few tickets. Uh, we've been sending stuff into awesome things for ages. We have an overflow system. The storage might be a nice thing to have. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'm going to stream for quite a while today, so I'm not in any rush. Um, but I think maybe what we'll do is change our save options. Uh, gameplay. Server restart. Auto save intramural minutes. Let's change that to 15 just to be a little bit on the safe side. This may result in a couple of delays on stream. Um, my game does take a little bit to save sometime because it is such a large save, but it will be better for us, I think, in the long run to have more frequent autosaves. All of my uh, settings seem to be good. Nothing seems to be other, you know, different than what I had before. Um, I'm going to look up a couple of... Um, Graphic presets in between the streams, just to kind of see if we can get back up and and running um, a little bit more efficiently. So let's go. I guess I'll go downstairs, which is this way. So over here. We have uh, our awesome sync array, which is, I said stop the train too. Yeah, you're right. So this is where all of our overflow from our factory is going and it's all getting destroyed because we're not currently using any of this. We just want it up and running to keep our ratios going swiftly. However, it means we've got a lot of tickets. Um, I don't know if it was 200 before. I'd have to check my other stream. Oh, my character saved. Character change didn't cha save either. Okay. We'll do that real quick. I'm pretty sure it was just dark red and black, right? I do like the Mario. The Mario idea. I wonder if it's the hyper tubes that are causing the problem. We'll have to track to see if it happens again when I'm on a hyper tube. missed it. Oh, crap. Hmm. I really hope that I'm actually able to play this. Put that up again. That's annoying. I hope this is not how my day is going to go. 
Uh, no, it's perfect build, build configuration, shipping launcher, expanded access violation. Doesn't look to be anything I understand. Exception access violation reading address. Don't know what that means. Crap. Well, I mean, push comes to shove. I can start a new save, right? Push comes to stuff, I, I can start a new save. And we'll at least experience the game that way. Uh, I don't think it would be too much a heavy load on their end, Sweet Sandy. I don't think there's any internet connectivity required for the game. Like, I think this is all local. Um, I can try reducing my graphic settings, maybe. Texture, shadow. Post-processing, anti-aliasing. Try to lower some of these. Upscaling. VRAM intensive. We'll try that just to see. Screen percentage. Oh, right. That might be why I was looking at something and seeing pixels. I'll look up some better settings afterwards. Cosmic Dancer, I have now given up on work for the day. Downloading the update, we'll try to play for a bit. <laughs> very, very cool. Very, very cool. I'm glad you got a chance to chill out today. Dan, your download is complete. Congrats. Yeah, I don't have much going in the background. I mean, there's. I guess I could maybe switch this um, back to my spreadsheet so it's not running a video in the background. I can close that other Twitch window. I got a couple of browser windows open, but like I don't think it should be that causing a crazy amount of lag. Well, the rendering certainly looks not great with those changes. I'll have to remember to go back to that. That's a uh, kind of rough I, I hopefully we can get back to better rendering um i guess i have to go get tickets again yeah i should just be able to build an awesome sink right here actually that's a lot faster than it used to be no power. That's a lot of tickets. Three hundred, just about. We're one shy of three hundred. I should have waited. <laughs> All right, let's see what new stuff we have in the awesome shot fix it specials boom box we already have one of those i'm not buying any statues just yet management uh we have 
pipelines. We have all of that. Oh, dark mode. Thank you. Signs, lights, nothing new there. Customizer. Ooh, we can get the unpainted finishes. Unpainted copper, chrome, carbon steel, and caterium paint. Uh, we will probably get those. Foundation stairs. Yes, please. We'll grab those as well. Nothing too new there. Walls. No new walls, but we should have new windows. Construction fences. Metal barriers. Love it. And equipment. I already have the coffee cup. Uh, okay. Parts. No. Architecture. I thought there would be... Well, maybe because we've already got the windows, we have the new ones. Yes, it looks like we have the trickle frame windows. They're already unlocked. Okay, sweet. So it's just a customizer. We'll do all of these, please and thank you. Why not? We are currently rich. Grab the stairs. Walls. Got those. Architecture. It's just new barriers. Oop. Equipment. I think there was nothing there that I wanted. Nothing here. Just to double check. I think what I'll have to start doing is just saving after every time I do something. I think we're good. Cart, please and thank you. Update 1.0. Uh, call it that. Every company but fix it is losing productivity today. Sarcoma Slayer, you are not wrong. You are not wrong. There's a lot of people that play this game. I didn't realize just, just how many people uh, play it. So, new stuff. Uh, walls. There's the new window. Triple frame window. And it is... Like a metal? I don't think you can... Yeah, you can't paint it, it doesn't look like. Kind of the same color no matter what. Oh, did that change? A little bit. I can't really tell. Let's grab one of these. Stand on the sunny side so we can actually see what's going on. Unpainted metal. Lots of texture. Copper finish. Chrome looks slick. Chrome, I think, will be really fun for the Transformer theme that I have going on. I think I'll be using that a lot. Same with the carbon steel. And the Caterium. Now, can you... I don't think you can do colors as well, right? No, so I guess, huh, I guess it's more for buildings that have, like, paint to them. So it's probably better for 
things like buildings. Yeah, so it doesn't really change the texture on them, which is too bad. So these are just shiny finishes. You can't have like an unpainted or like a a green copper. Yeah, the carbon steel is pretty cool. It's like a shiny, like a reflective black. Whereas if I just did normal black, well, it might not be that different. Yeah, yeah. So there's painted black and carbon steel. Carbon steel on the top. Painted block in the bottom. Wish you luck, Cosmic. No crashes. Yes. Cross your fingers. Hope to be productive. What about the other windows? Uh, frame window, reinforce window. I thought there was another window. Oh, here we go. Angled window frame? Those do have color accents, which is nice. Change those to different colors like it those are actually really cool those are going to work well with the transformer theme honeycomb as opposed to hex frame so we've got these as well i can see that being really cool for building if you wanted to just expose like part of it like if you wanted to kind of hide it inside something having a grid like that exposed would be really cool like those two and those are the three new windows. And then we had barriers and walls. Construction fence, tarp construction, and high barrier. Okay, so there's... So there's a high barrier. And there's a low barrier. And you can paint the stripe along the bottom. I like these. These are cooler than the other ones. So your caution barrier is this size. And the thing that changes on that is the green. So if you change that. Right? And then we've also got fences. These are a little terrestrial for me. They're they're a little earth-like for my tastes, for what I'm doing. And then we've got these other ones. Oh, okay, so th these are painted as well, so that's cool. So if you wanted to change those to, like, be red. Again, you can probably use them for cool color accents. Can you stack the low barrier? That is a really good question. Let's find out. Low barrier. Survey says, Sandy, that you can indeed. Probably stack this one too. Oh, and it stacks in the midpoint. I don't know that they look good stacked, 
but it's possible to stack them. But then they snap to weird points. And the game crashed again. Well, I'm going to need to start a timer, I think. That's going to be unfortunate. I hope it's not the fact that I'm using an old save. Nighttime in the stream is at an hour and ten. You're right. I should take this opportunity to go on a quick break. Um, I th think... I don't know whether I should load up the save or whether I should just stay the load screen. I'll just go to my b right back screen and I will um, take a short break. I need to reheat my coffee anyway. And uh, hopefully it's not a time thing. I'm wondering if there's something happening on my map that might be causing a break. So I think maybe this time when I log in, I will stop all of the trains and we'll just kind of go from there. So lots of troubleshooting today. Hopefully um, it doesn't re result in more crashes. Um, I don't know what bugs are already out there. If anybody knows or can send me a link in Discord as to what the bugs might be, uh, people that might be reporting crashes, but um, I will be back in five or six minutes.
let's try this again. At least we are only 14 minutes ago. Minus the break. I'm going to start my stopwatch just to kind of see how far we get. I don't know if it's a timed thing, um, but I think I'll take Sandy's advice and maybe we'll go stop my trains. And I don't have a power switch to turn off the whole factory. I probably should do that. I mean, I, that's a lie. I could, I could cut the power line. The, the entrance noise into the game is odd now. It feels kind of strange. It feels like an error. It doesn't feel like you're loading in. It feels like you're clunking in. 261. So we do have all of the architect architecture stuff. Yes. All right. Wasting no time. Let's go stop the trains. Yeah, the rendering really does not look good on the setting. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Andy. I feel like all the colors look really bright. I missed you. Let's see who's coming in next. Bone Crusher. That's one of the ones that I need to stop for sure. Because there are no nodes over there. Self-drive is done. And that one. I'm going to save the game. I, of course, backed up all of my saves. So if anything goes terribly wrong, then we can always start again. Which is where I would have started at the start of the day. But it's better than nothing. All right, you're done. Where are your other friends? That's the construction train. That's not going anywhere. Everybody else is at a station, it looks like. Mixmaster's coming back. And Grapper will eventually come back too. We're going to have to update all of these nodes. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, good. Scavengers on the way back, too. Scavengers are a short run, anyway. Notice that you can't jump up in here anymore. You can't, you as a person can't fit in there. Who's going to be here first? Probably Scrapper. Oh, that was close. Damn it. I wonder what's going on. Well, I guess I'll start a new save. There seem to be a lot of 
shipping errors, low level tasks in the error log. That was only five minutes. That's not good enough for me. Well, that's unfortunate. I went to the Q&A site uh, and I didn't see anything new as far as bugs. Um, and I don't know exactly how to read a, a posting for this just yet. Cosmic, are you crashing as well? Did you start a new save? Or did you... Um, you know what? I should probably... I'm just going to exit the game quickly. I'm going to see if there's a hotfix maybe on Epic Games. Just let me see if there's anything that I can do in the background here. That's really frustrating. Manage, verify files, auto update. We'll see. New save, says Cosmic Dancer, and just experienced your first crash. Well, that's unfortunate. That's too bad for Coffee Stain. Uh, if it's a couple people. Does anybody know if anybody else on stream are total or uh, bits having any crash issues? Do we know? I mean, they've got much better PCs than I do, so that's going to give them a bigger advantage there. Um, mute that. Don't see any crash reports. There doesn't seem to be anything happening. Total seems to be well into a save. So I don't know. Um, I've got a little bit of wait time here in the background. Um, we can look at the updates, see if there's anything else additional. We talked about that, talked about the hub, helmet and build gun skins and trinkets, character coloring, pioneer cosmetics, factory cosmetics. Of course, we didn't forget about the looks of the factory themselves. Now you can have a new set of buildings and new customizer options and really make your factory shine. Uh, they can all be found in the awesome shop. So that's just the chrome finishes though. You can't change the colors of them. Balancing milestone changes. Jetpack milestone can now be unlocked at a start of tier five. No longer requires oil, oil resources. Cranes, trains can now be unlocked without needing heavy modular frames or computers. That's cool. Train signals can now have their own milestone. Uh, I hear that you can put train signals now wherever. It doesn't have to be at the end of a train track. You can put them anywhere along the track. Fuel generator now has its own milestone and longer, no longer requires heavy modular frames or computers to unlock. Some milestone costs between tier three and eight have been slightly adjusted to improve progression flow. Control system development has been added to tier seven featuring the blender, radio control unit, and the superconductor. Recipe changes, it's all technical. New parts, new alternative recipes, drones. Drones can now use almost all fuel types instead of just batteries. The speed of drones is different per fuel type with better fuel providing higher speed. Biomass burners now have conveyor belt input ports. Nice. Fuel generators, MAM changes. 
Fuel generators now produce 250 megawatts instead of a previous 150. Wow, I'm going to get more power out of what I do, I think. Hard drive reloading and sailing. We did know about that. Build system changes. Quality of life. Straight conveyor belts. World. Narrative progression achievements optimizations. We are not experiencing the optimizations. I can tell you that much. All right. I don't think that changed the version number. I don't think there was any kind of hot fix that happened there. One thing I did not check was um, the minimum requirements. Don't see, hmm. I should also check my video drivers. I do have a game ready driver available for an NVIDIA. I did not check that earlier. So if we get another crash, I may have to do that. That might mean that my stream will have to restart. Uh, what do you think, chat? Do we try to get back into the game here? Give it one more try, and then I'll start a new save and see if I have another crash. And if a new save crashes, then I say we update the drivers. Would be probably the best best thing. I have no way of knowing from the crash report what um, might be the issue. I've only got the one train stopped. And that could be the difference if other people have updated their drivers. Self-driving is off. Yeah, like I can't... I can't get up there anymore. Try a preset low. It's really low. Oh, wow, my frame rate is terrible. What's going on there? Why would it be lower? can't play like that. What's going on? Extra quality, shadow quality, far distance near, post-processing. Motion blur, conveyor, visual quality. Oh, that's why.
V-Sync is not, that's good. I need to go stop that train. So my fancy train station doesn't really work anymore because we get spat out not on the platform but below it. That's too bad. Two sixty three update one three. The game save is very fast now. That should be all trains now docked. What's that? Is that just a spare station? Hook. Don't think Hook has a train. That's just construction one. That's breaker. I think that's everybody home. Uh, scavenger. Western slopes is bone crusher. That's. Scrapper, and that is Mixmaster. Okay. So, guess we'll go. To Western Slopes. It's weird noises for the achievements. Uh, Cosmic, you're having some game crashes as too. Doing different things both times and different crash reports that I have no idea what they mean. I tried lowering my graphic settings, but it was all the same. Yeah. The fact that you're on a new save makes me feel better knowing that it's probably not me. This guy is still here and still looks like garbage. Yeah, see a dropout right here. So you'll notice there's nothing on these belts. And that's because these nodes don't exist anymore. There is nothing here. Zippo, nothing. Just an angry cow. Invalid. Nothing going on. So, if you look at the map, uh, these two quartz nodes do not exist anymore. They are over here somewhere. If we scan for quartz... all over here now. That is 
close to my main my early factory but not near to where i am right now the quartz one and quartz two just don't exist we are going to have to use these quartz i think for devastator so in that light quartz one and quartz two i can actually remove those i'll do that on the spreadsheet first This is Western Slopes. I'm not going to remove the chain because I need to know what I used to do and how I need to um, fix it. Uh, and so now the main bus is still designated as quartz, but what I'll do is have to say that this is untapped. Actually, I can probably just have these empty. That means we're not making any quartz crystal at all. It will eventually run out. We've got some stored up, so that's good. And that means I can now go back to the game and I can update my map and just remove the marker. Also, I don't think that coal node is there either. There might be a hotfix later. You could be right, Cosmic. If I get enough crashes where it becomes frustrating, I'll just start a new game and see if we can go on from there. Um, I don't know whether it's my save or whether it's my computer. If I get another crash, what I'll do is I'll um, I'll try to update my NVIDIA uh, drivers. That may require the stream to restart. I don't know. Yeah, these are all not going either because there is no coal node here anymore. Invalid. Well, we can take those back. Oh no, those are mine. So that is also done. That means that there's no coal going to my starter factory either, because this was a long tractor run that I had set up. There's all kinds of stuff I have to delete now. This can get deleted. Don't need any water. It's not going to be any coal for fuel. And sooner or later, there's a tractor that's going to be coming back here. Unless he's also run out of coal. Do I see the vehicles? Yeah, there he is there. So when he comes back, we'll have to slow that down. It looks like uh, these mines are okay. 
Uh, but coal is not there. And that means... Do I have the coal on this list? Truck station. Yep. So, truck station, coal tractor. Um, I still do have coal coming in um, from another location. So we can remove this on the map. Don't know what that is over there. There's two, two things over here. One of them is the buggy. Oh. Oh, you know what? I think I forgot to grab more fuel before I... Yeah. That save that I had the extra fuel. Is that on a different side now? That used to be over here. Fuel is a lot different. So I think this might be an upscaling problem because you notice how fuzzy the graphics are here? I'm wondering if that's me upscaling and having it look not great. I wonder if upscaling is causing the issue. It'd be hard to say. Okay. What am I looking at here? That's the train station. That's the buggy. What's underneath the train? Oh, that's the actual... This is just a fancy thing that I put down. This is the actual train station. Okay. Let's check that concrete node. All right. Not using preferred. Packaged. Word Nerdify, subscribing at Tier 1, 26 months. Happy Satisfactory Day. Thanks very much. Hopefully, we will not have any more crashes. I don't know if we fixed it or what. This is 120 per minute on a Mark 1 miner. So that's a pure node, right? Pure limestone node. Why can I not build it there? So limestone is still a pure node. Do I have that marked down anywhere? And that's not happening local. Western slopes. Pure Mark II untapped. That is not a Mark II, that's a Mark I.
Oh, I'm short a miner. That's fine. You know what? I'm just going to leave that untapped. Limestone one. I'm going to see if my other map has any. There's This is a limestone as well. Uh, so that's limestone one. We'll call this limestone one. It's going to be a lot of renaming and shuffling things around. Oh, that's limestone two. Let's not do that. Let's do left to right. Pure untapped. So, update the sheet. Uh, this would be pure would be 120 per minute if we actually had anything on it, which we don't. One of these, though, is doing that. So we'll pop over to this other one. I wonder if it is a graphics issue, because it seems to happen when I was bouncing around in hypertubes and by trains, and we seem to be a lot farther away from my factory now. It does not seem to be having as many issues, so I wonder if it's some sort of rendering thing that was causing a problem. Word Nerdify, thank you again very much for the, uh, the sub and support. So I know this isn't working because the, the bin is full. Uh, this is a Mark II 240, so this is another pure node. Pure. Sweet. Just a little high. <laughs> Just a little high. This was an old resource grab facility that did not really turn out the way that I wanted it to. Uh, so this is Mark II, 240 per minute. And this is going into a local concrete box. Well, first I should say it's going into one constructor. That would be more accurate. So that's what's happening there. I don't know where the third limestone node is. Don't know if it still exists. I guess this is that over here. Yeah. It is a normal untapped. Normal untapped unused.
Well, that is the limestone, I think. At least noted for western slopes. I don't know or see of any additional limestone around. I guess we could always scan for it. First, I'm going to go stop that tractor, though. Too many keys. Yep, I'm going to save in a second, Sandy. I just want to get to that tractor. Trying to be cautious. Not doing anything too crazy. Uh, load path, save pass, toggle highlights. Disable autopilot. I got a weird mouse issue here. There we go. Tractor is backwards, which is strange. Okay. Tractor is stopped. Save the game. So, file limit. Okay. So I guess that's limestone three. I could scan for a little more limestone. Don't think there's any more. I don't think that's technically Western Slopes. I don't have a marker on it, though. Normal. I don't know what I used for this. I think it was that. Uh, near. Yeah, I'm not sure whether to call that Western Slopes or not. I don't think so. Cool. Let me refresh my memory on what the... Um, updated nodes purities are. I do have that. There's... Um, Increased nodes and then decreased nodes. What are those? One of those is a Caterium node. No, yeah, Caterium. So that's no longer a pure, I don't think. We'll have to go check that. Meadow, good to see you. Welcome in. It's a little slow. We're kind of poking around at some stuff.
this whole thing is probably not going to be usable. Because uh, we're probably not pulling enough ore. Also, this doesn't appear to be... Well, it's not going anywhere because the train's full. Invalid. Is it just not there? Hmm. I think it's just not here. Where is it then? Four hundred and eighty meters that way. Oh, wow. I never noticed that. Project assembly. 1,300 meters in that direction. That's the one back at Devastator. That just doesn't exist anymore? Decreased purity. To look at that. I can't see on my secondary monitor what that actually looks like. Oh, it's the sulfur node that's decreased. The remove nodes. Ah, this caterium node has been removed. It is not a decrease. It is a zero. So it is part of um, this set. Uh, remove nodes. Yeah. So right in the top um, third is uh, the remove nodes. So there's a sulfur node and a caterium node that are no longer here. So this does not exist anymore. Well then. Um, which one was this? That was Caterium 3. That's been deleted. It was being unused anyway, but now we've got to delete the bridge. So that's not happening. Okay, and there was one more, I think, on that update sheet. One of the iron nodes, it looks like, and a sulfur node. I'm 
gonna get a lot of material back. That's now invalid. This is good. That's okay. Impure and normal. So that's been reduced. And then this is now same. Sulfur six per minute. Can't zoom in anymore. I wish your player didn't get in the way on the map. So Sulfur 1 was a normal with a Mark 2. Sulfur 1 was normal with a Mark 2 has been removed. I wasn't doing anything with the sulfur. This really doesn't affect any production. It just affects my future plans. Sulfur 2 will now be Sulfur 1, I'd imagine. And it's an impure node, I think is what it was before. Yeah, Sulfur 1, Mark 2, no overclock, 60 per minute. This is a mark two, 60 per minute. So we can just remove this. That doesn't need to go up over there, but we'll leave that just because it's all hooked up and working. Has this been removed too? Do these have a different model now? Uh, oh, can I hide myself on the map? That's a really good question. I probably can. Yeah. Thank you. Smart. SMRT. All right, so I can remove this. And I can remove Caterium 3. And then the other Caterium looks like it's gone is this one too. Caterium number one is also finished. So we'll go take a look at that. I have no idea whether this is helpful for people that are... Oh, wow. The water looks a lot better. Even on my low graphics settings, that's pretty good. Hopefully this is helpful for people that are potentially upgrading their saves and realizing the kind of things that they have to go around and do. Again, I am much happier to do this and have 60,000 megawatts of power than I would be to start over. I'm probably still going to do a new save at some point just for the story, but it will not be super soon. Invalid. Sad face. Uh, normal overclocked to 270. Um, what 
Which one is that? Tyrion number one. So that is going to change what happens at the Katerian smelting. I would want to redesign this anyway. It's not my favorite. I guess I should have been deleting these all the way along. Got lots of room. None of these were terribly fancy. They were just kind of built to be node extractors. Look decent, but then not decorated. They're just meant to look functional. We also had animals floating around underneath there. Get rid of that. Don't need the power poles. Okay, so get rid of anything like that in my inventory I don't need. Now there's just this one other one that's inside. Hunter Triple Five. Thanks ever so much for the tier one sub. 45 months. That's amazing, Hunter. I really appreciate it. Is this still in the same spot? It is still in the same spot. And it is Mark II, so it must be over a pure node. Normal. Normal node. Normal node overclocked to 270. That's accurate. It's not what it's going to stay. Um, I guess it's just that the second floor is just no longer needed, right? I'm still making 90 ingots. Um, we could update this and crank out more. So. We'll have to do increase. Overclock. Um, this will just be gone. This is currently still accurate, um, but I'm not really doing anything with it. So that can just stay the way that it is. When we decide what to do with the Caterium, uh, we will update that. Normal, normal. So good, I. I think that's good for the western slopes. I don't think there's any more updates. I probably need to just change the... Um, these are all got different purities, but I, I don't use them for anything right now, so I'm not, I don't have to worry about that right now. But that's good. This whole system is off anyway. See, like, this is just really ugly, and I'm, I'm happy to delete it because... We no longer need it. 
Hunter Triple Five says I'm just bobbing in quickly before making a start on dinner. I have a ribeye steak with my name on it. That sounds amazing. These are all just making starter parts. These are all normal, right? Yeah. Oh no, it's pure. Okay. Pure. There are two, there's three. So these are three pure. So this one looks like it might be off. Yeah. Okay. Is that also pure? This is a terrible place to build a base, by the way. There's no room. That's a pure one, too. All, right. All of this is stuff I could revisit later because it is not part of our current issue. Wait for the autosave. I need to take a break anyway. Hopefully, I can send you guys on a train ride and the game won't crash. That'll be a good test, I guess. The wow, the autosave is super fast. That's normally like a glitch. Very cool. Can you chrome trains? I wonder. Ooh, you can. Carbon steel train. I mean, I've got low graphic settings, but that's kind of fun. Shiny. Kind of like the unpainted. Wow, <laughs> that is, um, that's a choice. That's a very reflective choice. I'll go with unpainted. Uh, how do you change the name of the train? Here we go. Uh, we'll go to Construction 2 and Megatron and see what happens. All right, folks, I take a break once an hour. You get to ride the brake train. Cross your fingers, there's no grain crash. I'll try to keep an eye on it. I'll be right back.
All right, we can turn off the self-driving, I guess. We'll go back to Devastator. No, there's no other um, trains to crash with. You're right. It still slows down to go through the intersections, though. I don't know if any of these nodes have changed. That's going to be interesting. See, this is why I didn't want to restart. Like, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. There's the crash. So it is Devastator. It must be something happening in the factory. I don't know what's going on. That is unfortunate. Well, 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 well. We went like over an hour without a crash. Uh, 56 minutes. So not over an hour, but close to it. Hmm, 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 I am actually going to see. Can I copy this? Can. I'm just going to create, I'm just going to type in a little bit. Um, simply traveling. Played for an hour away from the factory. Uh, crashes. I think we had no crashes, right? So I'm going to copy this, see if I can't find somebody in the community that might eventually know what to do with that. Notepad. Uh, satisfactory. Crash. This is what? The 10th. And it is 2.25 p.m. Sorry about this, folks. Just want to note this down so I can maybe talk to somebody on a forum later. See what's up.
Okay, well. Um, it looks like Satisfactory is cloud syncing. Let me just see if I can update my NVIDIA drivers. I don't know if this is going to affect OBS. It very might, very well might. Uh, well, this is an older driver. This is from 20th of August. I am going to quit the game though. I'll flip you guys over to the main page. I believe there is a launch trailer they played. Is that on the update page? Trailer. I actually haven't watched this yet. We saw the tail end of it. <laughs> no. That was a cool shot. I think Snoot built a lot of this for the trailer. Interesting hint at the size of the planet. <laughs> 